What's going on, everybody? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. As promised, I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing these envelopes as we go through uh, the Black Friday pack. So, uh, to start here, these are the rules, and it'll be on the website as well. A video will go live tomorrow at noon, too, with a direct link to the product itself. So, each pack you buy, you'll get $100 or more in value the time I make the pack, and those are on here tonight. Values are based off of what I just did probably about 2 p.m.-ish today. There's no more than two items in the pack. You may receive hobby or retail boxes in the pack. Uh, you will get one random pack in which a live video will be done to show you what pack numbers you get via random.org. Everybody understands that part on to it. Uh, basically, if you buy one, two, or three, you'll just get that many, you know, the top one, two, or three spots at the end of the random will be yours. Just trying to keep this as random as possible with this stuff. Um, all the packs have to be open this time because I do have redemptions in there, which look something like this here. <laughs> um just for the wax boxes on to it so live on thanksgiving night 11 p.m eastern standard time i'll start opening it's going to go in the order people put the orders in so if joe smith buys two packs then you know um john i don't know m buys two more right afterwards and then joe buys two more joe will go two then john tis two then joe's next one so it's just going to be in that order so if you want to try to spread your stuff out, I don't know how to tell you, you know, to check how many are left and stuff, but you can split them up that way. But otherwise, it's going straight in the order that the orders come in that night. There may still be some left when I go live. I'm not too sure. The last day to buy one will be Sunday. Uh, was that November like 28th or something like that offhand? Pretty sure 5th. Yeah, Sunday, November 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. At that time, if there's any that are, un that are not bought, I'm just opening them up to show what was in it, just to show that everything was in the packs that I showed originally. Uh, only reason being the end of the year, I got to do a lot of closeout, guys, so I can't hold stuff in the store long. I wouldn't, uh, I'm not opening any of the hobby boxes up. They're just going to be shipped straight out. Pretty much it. Uh, no refunds on the product. You know how that stuff all goes offhand. Um, but like I said, I'll have the whole list there. But let's get into this stuff here. So again, noon tomorrow, this stuff's going to be live on the website. A video will pop up with the stuff into it. Tonight, I'm just going to show you what it is. I'm putting in an envelope. Tomorrow, I'll do some shuffling up of the envelopes. We'll number them, and then we're going to roll with the stuff. Just to try to keep it as random as possible, the hits. All right, so... I did these just on these extra one touches I had. You do not get to one touch, but because uh, some of them are really thick ones. 2021 Heritage Minor Box, which you see here, and a 2021 Archives Box. The Archives are like 110, and then the Minor around 59.95, so it's 170 in value for 100 dollars. Each pack, like I said, is 100 bucks. So you're, there's no pack I think under like 115, 120 ish. So, everybody will get, get get more than the value they put into it. Shipping comes with it and all that fun stuff. All right, pack one is done. Again, I'm going to mix these up anyhow. Heck, I might even have my mom mix them up upstairs. All right, next one. This is another redemption for a live one. Uh, it's the Update Jumbo Box. 159 is what they're selling for. You see, that's right up here. Everything is, uh, I get done tomorrow will go out on Friday. And the only reason I put them in one touches is because some of the cards are going to be in one touches. That way I just can't tell by weight. I want to have some suspense into it too. All right, this is going to cover two more of the wax boxes. Again, it's a Heritage Miner and a Heritage Archives. Going this way so the yellow stickies don't pop off. But total of 16 packs we made. This is the last wax. It's the this year's Stadium Club Chrome Hobby, which is right there.
Alrighty. First hit, Ozzy Albies, 2018 Topps Fire RPA. This is numbered, I think it's on the back. Yeah, it's down here out of 25. So the non numbered, just autograph, no patch for once, sold for 125. You can put any price you want above it on it 175, 200, 150. Either way, it's going to be worth way over the 125. And you got like a, the gray swatch and you got a piece of the patch right there into it. So pretty nice card. Um, I meant to put this in a team bag. I don't know where the team bags are near me now. That's fine. It's just going in a bubble and it's sealed on top. Up next. 1950 Bowman, PSA 4, Groza. VCP on this, I had to go on the website to find this, 138. So if you're into some vintage, really nice looking uh, 50 Bowman card there. Up next, 2020 Sterling Dominguez, Auto, PSA 9. 191 last sale. I think the one before it was like 198. So 100 bucks, you're pretty much doubling your money. There's nothing crazy huge in this, guys, because the fact that all the packs are over the hundred dollar mark. If this would be like a regular repack, which I'll probably do one maybe once a quarter, the cards in it would be you know like 60, 70 percent value what it would cost type deal, just so you could have the bigger chase cards in it, which I'm sure everybody understands. All right, moving down the list here. Next, Vladimir Guerrero, 2020 Flawless Emerald, 5 out of 5 auto. One just sold at 200, so 200. Next. 2013 Topps Chrome Chris Bosch Rookie PSA 10, one and a quarter. Next, Tatum Donruss Optic PSA 10. A lot of people trash these cards before the big spike in bases, so. 130, 130 on the last sale. Tatum's been doing a lot better. It's just slowly starting to increase. And everything I put in here was basically stuff that if I would have got into somebody else's repack, that I would have been happy about getting, whether it's wax or regular cards. Soto, clearly authentic 2021 type. This is numbered out of 70, the black and white version. Last sale, 120. Next up, Dwayne Wade, 2003 Upper Deck Rookie Exclusives, PSA 10, 155 on the last sale, 155. Get each envelope is going to be 100 bucks, 16 total envelopes. You guys want to do the math up? I'm not too sure what total value is, but I'm guessing probably. Oh, somewhere close to 25-ish, maybe. Maybe more, I don't know. Uh, 2014 Topps Platinum, it's the X-Fractor, Derry Carr, PSA 10. Last sold, 130. These have been going up, too. Got it that way. All right, just a double one here. Lou Bob, 2021, clearly out of 99. Last sale was even at 100, plus a Lamello Recon. These have been going between 15 and 25. So that's a two one there. Sick. 
single Harden Rubio Curry upper deck 2009 10 uh, the draft edition last sale 128 Ah, yep, last one. Same thing, draft edition. Rubio Flynn Curry, last sale, 51. Game floor, Garnett and Bryant from 0102. Uh, what do they call this? Game floor, authentic floor, last sale, 76. So 127 in value. So there's our 16 envelopes, which, like I said, eventually these are going to get mixed up and they just kind of started. A little bigger for my hands. Ah, come here. Go there. You can go there. Put you right there on bottom. And I'll shuffle these up a couple more times beforehand. Try to make sure the Lee and Tyler envelopes does not go down. So that's your complete checklist there, everybody. Good luck on them. Thank you again for the support to the channel. This is the one time where I would do a repack where you get uh, more than the value itself onto it. Um, a lot of you guys are always in the auctions, watching the videos, uh, buying boxes, getting in touch with me, buying your boxes, whatever it may be. And I wanted to be able to do something nice for a uh, repack for everybody out there. Oh, please, somebody don't go buying all 16 spots. Let let people get some chances onto it. I mean, take two, three, whatever you want. But, you know, uh, let some people get some chances onto this stuff overall. Um, I don't, I was trying to find a way to limit how many you could buy max, but it's not letting me do it anywhere on here. So just keep in mind there's other people. I mean, if you go on there at noon, you buy two and then you're back on there, you know, a few hours later and still see some in there by means go for it. But yeah, at least let everybody try to get a chance guys to please don't buy all 16 for yourself. Um, took a little time, put this stuff together, make sure it was uh good to go. Hmm. But that is about everything I got with this. I do appreciate it again. The video will come out tomorrow at noon, and it will have a link to it. And then I'll see you guys 11 p.m. Eastern and start opening them up. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one.